this is Kathy Hansen, and this is your back pocket strategy for the week. How do we hire and retain good interns? It's always a struggle for me when people call me and say, I'm churning through interns. I seem, I have the best job in the whole world. It's sexy, it's fun, it's high energy, and I seem to hire all these interns and they quit after one or two weeks. What am I doing wrong? It's not intrinsic for all of us to be great bosses. Just because you're bossy and a type A does not mean you're a good boss, and it certainly doesn't mean you're gonna be able to keep good employees or interns. What I, I've been able to hire and retain interns for projects all over the country, and here are some of the things that I've learned. When you set expectations during the interview and you ask them what they want out of the project or the job, you, you ask them, is it a resume builder? Is it industry experience? Do you want to meet different people? What is it do you want? You want to overcome some fears? What is it? Then you set expectations about what you expect them to do every single week. Do, they, do you work from home? Are, you going to sh are they going to shadow you? What are they going to do? And are you expecting them to be proactive? So you set that when you hire them and you decide what the parameters are of the project so that you can both feel successful. You need them. You're hiring them. They're going to be your helper or your subject matter expert no matter what they do. So you need to let them know this is a collaborative effort. It's going to be win-win. At the end of the day, you are partnering with them. You, so you need to value them and let them know throughout the project of course, as you adapt and adjust what you're doing with them all the time. But you also need to give them gestures of appreciation. They are working for free, interns or very little money. Give them a gas card, give them coffee, let them work from home as often as they can, show them some trust. Those are things that intrinsically not everybody is generous in spirit. Not everybody knows how to do that with an intern, but that's what they need. You can't live without them, they can't live without you. They want this job, they want it to build a resume. Certainly, they have a valuable perspective they listen to what they have to say. That's the big key. Set the expectations at the beginning. Adapt and adjust as you go along. Thank them along the way. Make sure you're thanking them and saying that you appreciate this collaboration and you'll both feel successful. And I guarantee you that they will want to stay on and work with you. The other thing is these principles, of course, do apply when you're a boss to paid employees. Of course, a lot of these principles apply to hiring good employees as well. So that's your back pocket strategy for the week. Have a great week.